This morning, the FBI is bringing a Biden-related internal document to Capitol Hill. Why lawmakers on the Oversight Committee want to see it? Well, this morning, the FBI is bringing an internal document for House oversight leaders to review on Capitol Hill today. Some Republicans expect it to shed light on a claim that then-Vice President Biden accepted a bribe of $5 million from a foreign national in exchange for a policy outcome. The document contains allegations made by an unnamed whistleblower, which the FBI and the prosecutors could not corroborate. CNN Sarah Murray joins us now. So, Sarah, why is the FBI bringing the document to Capitol Hill now? Well, look, James Comer, the House Oversight Chair, had subpoenaed the FBI for this document, and he has threatened to hold FBI Director Chris Wray in contempt. So this is sort of the attempt at a compromise for the FBI to come and share this document with Comer, as well as the top Democrat on this committee. You know, it allegedly has these allegations that Joe Biden was involved in a bribery scheme when he was vice president. The White House has denied this and dismissed this as political attacks. And the FBI has urged caution in this in some of their letters to the committee, pointing out that the kind of document that they're going to show these lawmakers today shows information that comes from a confidential source, but it's information that's unverified, that's unsubstantiated. And we've learned from sources that these allegations sort of stem back to the kind of thing that Rudy Giuliani was sharing with the Justice Department back in 2020. At that time, DOJ was led by Bill Barr. This was during the Trump administration. And DOJ was pretty skeptical with these allegations. A lot of the information was coming from Ukrainian and sources. And as you pointed out, when FBI and prosecutors st started to review this information, they couldn't corroborate the claim. So I think for Republicans, it's going to be sort of a, a heavy lift to try to prove to the American people if there's anything in this that is actually true. But again, they want to move this process forward. They want to see this document today. And I suspect we're going to continue to hear James Comer sort of uh, banging the drum of potential contempt, because what he really wants is a copy of this document to be shared with Congress. The FBI is headed to Capitol Hill today to share information from a whistleblower about President Biden. The top Republican and Democrat on the House Oversight Committee will be receiving a briefing about a document containing allegations from an unnamed whistleblower alleging Biden was involved in a criminal scheme with a foreign national during his time as vice president. The FBI and prosecutors who previously reviewed the information could not corroborate the claims. So the FBI is bringing what Republicans say is a Biden-related internal document to Capitol Hill as part of a House oversight hearing, what it could reveal. So this morning, the FBI is headed to Capitol Hill to share information with top members of the House Oversight Committee about unverified allegations surrounding or involving President Biden, allegedly. Lawmakers are set to see a document that some Republicans claim shows Biden was involved in a criminal scheme with a foreign national during his time as vice president. CNN's Sarah Murray is with us now. Sarah, what document are we talking about exactly and why now? Well, right. You know, this comes after James Comer, the House Oversight Chairman, subpoenaed the FBI for this document. It's called an FD-1023, and he's threatened to hold FBI Director Christopher Wray in contempt if he didn't hand it over. So as an attempt to compromise, the FBI is coming here and behind closed doors going to show this document to Comer as well as the top Democrat on this committee. And this is a document that memorializes uh, information that comes from a confidential source in the FBI, but the FBI has stressed that this is unsubstantiated substantiated, unverified information. And when it comes to these allegations, which you pointed out, uh, are involving, you know, an alleged bribery scheme when Joe Biden was vice president, the White House has denied it. They've dismissed it all as a political attack. But, you know, Comer has really been uh, stuck on trying to get a copy of this document. And we're going to see today whether the option to view it behind closed doors is enough to fend off these threats of contempt, or if Comer decides to move ahead with these contempt proceedings, because what he actually wants is a hard copy in his possession of the document and to be able to share it with other members of the committee and other members of Congress. Sarah, you said unverified, unsubstantiated. Are these facts or allegations that the FBI has tried to run down? Well, look, we learned from sources familiar with the matter that a lot of these allegations stem back to what Rudy Giuliani was sharing with the FBI back in 2020. You know, at the time, the Justice Department was being run by Bill Barr. He was, this was during the Trump admi administration. He was very skeptical of these kinds of allegations. A number of them traced back to Ukrainian sources. And when the FBI and prosecutors began to review this information, they were not able to corroborate it. But a big complaint that we are going to continue to hear from Republicans is that the FBI didn't do enough to look into these allegations, John. 
All right, Sarah Murray up on Capitol Hill, where there will be some action today. Keep us posted. Thanks so much. Just ahead here in the Situation Room, why FBI Director Christopher Wray could soon face a contempt of Congress vote. We'll have more news when we come back. A Republican-led investigation into the Biden vice presidency could lead to a contempt of Congress vote for the FBI Director Christopher Wray. CNN Sarah Murray is joining us right now. She's working the story. She has details. What are the next steps here for the House GOP's uh, probe of a, and a possible contempt charge going against uh, the uh, FBI director? Well, look, Wolf, today senior FBI officials came. They went behind closed doors with House Oversight Chairman James Comer, as well as the top Democrat on that committee, Jamie Raskin, to show them this internal law enforcement document Comer had subpoenaed. It allegedly uh, includes unverified allegations that Biden, while he was vice president, was involved in a bribery scheme. So as they came out of this briefing, Comer made it very clear he was not satisfied. He thinks that they should have access, the entire House Oversight Committee, Committee, and frankly, anyone he wants to share with in Congress to this actual physical document. And he said he's going to move ahead later this week with these contempt proceedings against FBI Director Christopher Wray. We also heard from House Speaker Kevin McCarthy today, who has pledged there's going to be a full House vote on this contempt issue. Now, the FBI says this is unwarranted. They said, you know, we've been very accommodating. We brought you this document that includes raw intelligence. It basically includes, you know, what they would get from a confidential source written down in this FBI document. Again, uncorroborated, but the FBI is certainly not keen to have that out there. There was a disagreement coming out of this briefing between Comer and Raskin about whether this document and the allegations in it are still the subject of an ongoing investigation. Listen to what the Democrat and the Republican had to say. All I know is there's an ongoing investigation they confirmed there's an ongoing investigation using this information. I assume that ongoing investigation is in Delaware. I don't know that, but I assume that. What I know is that the FBI Department of Justice team under William Barr and Scott Brady in the Western District of Pennsylvania terminated the investigation. They said there were no grounds for further investigative steps. Now, look, Wolf, the truth of this seems to be somewhere in the middle. These are allegations that came to the FBI while Bill Barr was attorney general. He tasked some prosecutors and some investigators from looking at it. They didn't find, you know, a way to corroborate the allegations. This was coming when Rudy Giuliani was bringing stuff at the time, and they sort of didn't move on with it. But there's still this ongoing Hunter Biden criminal probe, and there could be slices of this that are still part of that investigation where we don't know if anyone will be charged. Yeah, lots going on. Sarah Murray, excellent reporting. Thank you.